If you plan to buy an electric car, stay to the end of the episode and I will tell you something. I have been using electric cars for several years, using and trying out different brands that I have made episodes about in this YouTube channel. Now I'm driving a Tesla Model 3. How much maintenance are there on an electric car? The beauty with a pure electric car is that it's a very simple construction. The electric engine have only few parts comparing to the very advanced, complicated combustion engine. Adding to this you need a battery and some electronic control system. Nothing that actually needs service. Of course tires and brakes will be needed to be changed eventually, but the brakes last longer thanks to the regenerating braking system. That means that when you're releasing the accelerator, the car will automatically brake. But this is the engine that is braking the car and using this braking energy to charge up the battery again. Isn't that cool? In a car that don't have this kind of huge battery and uses fossil fuel to dr drive the car and only have the normal brakes, this energy is just evaporating as heat from the discs in the brakes. Well, as promised when we came now to the end of this episode, I would tell you something if you're planning to buy an electric car. If you're considering to buy the brand Tesla, you should definitely use a refer link when ordering your car. That will give you some free supercharging that equals on the day of recording to 1,500 kilometers or 1,000 miles. Feel free to use mine that I post here. If you like to follow me on my adventurous electric earth life, then you should consider to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Feel free to do so and if you're on Facebook you can also join me under my electric earth over there. Thanks for watching and have a great life.